All right, let's take a look at your processes or your process templates, if you will, in Process Kit. So here in, in this account, I have created four processes. Uh, probably over time, you would create much more than this. And so you can organize your processes by group. And so I created a couple of uh, custom named groups here, and you can you know filter your list by each individual group or multiple, or just show them all. Um, so let's dive into one of them. Here's, here's one that I created for new client onboarding. Uh, and again, this is where we would edit uh, and create the process. I've already created this one, um, but it's you know got a bunch of steps in it, and you can expand these to see the details that you've added. Um, in some cases, you know you could even add an image. It's also good to pre-assign these steps to people on your team, so that later on, when this process gets applied to a real project, those people will be automatically assigned to it. So why don't we go ahead and edit this process a little bit further. We'll insert a step here in between those two. And let's just call this uh, invoice the client. And I'll go ahead and add some description text. This is a rich text editor, so you can, you can add like lists. Or you can drop in links. Those will link up automatically. And you can also just drag in images straight into this editor, just like that and you could even give these a caption text if you want. All right, so we've added that step and that's looking good. Now if we would need to reorder this, we can we can move that up or we can move it down. Pretty easy. Now as of this recording, next week we're going to be uh, releasing some new features that will let you build in automatic due date calculations and all sorts of other uh, automation rules built into these steps, so that'll be pretty cool. But for now, that's a look at your process templates in Process Kit.